Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a 3D print farm tour. So in last year of 2020, we started a 3D print business. And a lot of people have been asking us, okay, so how does your setup look like? So in today's video, we're gonna show you how we create or how we display all our 3D print farms, how we create our items and so much more with Chris doing a lot of the talking because he's the plan, he's the head, he's yep. the idea of it all. Yeah, so. I've, been the one, I've been the one who's pretty much been taking it down. <laughs> okay, let's start this video. Here we go. Okay, welcome to my office. Um, so pretty much here is where I work because I work from home now. So um, I pretty much have my work computer here, my main home computer there, and then pretty much everything else is the whole 3D printing farm. Um, it's basically our kitchen. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's one of our, our basement kitchens that um, we don't cook in. So um, I just turned this room into um, my little office. Um, so yeah, so basically what I have here, um, I have a total of six printers. Um, Obviously, I just start before I started with just one printer, and eventually you know, work your way up to two, three, four, and five. Um, so basically, what we have here is um, this printer over here is um, a CR10S. I actually picked this one up on um, Facebook Marketplace for a pretty cheap price. These ones are the Ender Three Pros. Um, they're pretty decent, uh, pretty decent for like the price. It's very like entry level and it can pretty much do everything. The ones over here, um, this one's Ender 3 Pro as well with uh, the basic magnetic bed. And this one is the Ender 3 Pro V2. Um, it's a little bit better than the Pros because it has like the glass bed and it's like updated extruders and all that. And then for the filament, um, the brand I really like is um, AMZ 3D. Um, pretty much all the filament I use is from these guys. Basically this is the farm. This is like where we store all our filaments and basically we order all the filaments on Amazon. A bunch of extra backup colors in case I run out over here and underneath my table over there. So a lot of extra just inventory lying around because you never know when you need it. And for my packaging stuff, um, I got these like just generic cardboard boxes on Amazon. So for packaging, we have an online store and basically it's on Etsy and we, you can also follow us on Instagram at 3D Prince Vancouver. And so when we package, we use these boxes over here. Yeah, just the generic boxes or if I need bigger boxes, um, I just find some lying around the house. And then for the packaging, also like I try to reuse um, the little bubble bubble mailers I get with my other Amazon packages so reusing that kind of saves um, the environment because environment we like to really recycle here yeah and in terms of organization how we organize some of our 3d print stuff is we use a lot of these organizers if we print a bunch of stuff to help us keep afloat when we have too many orders yeah, and I, and I have these to help separate whatever I print. And um, then for our tools, we just put them in boxes wherever we can fit them in the kitchen. Right now it's a little bit messy, so a lot of stuff is just laying around everywhere. But we try, we try to clean up here, but as you can see, it's a creative mess in here. Yeah, and then also, I guess over here, um, pretty much the same thing, but it's more of the, the mailing stuff. So I have a bunch of my stamps here. The envelopes if I send stuff out um, and yeah and then it basically some people because I also sell stuff on like Facebook marketplace so if people are coming in person I just store it all here so when they do come I can just meet them at the door so to create the, our 3d prints we have to create 3d models first and so what we do for the 3d models you can actually buy some models online or you can get them for free which is great if you want to create free models and just try 3d printing out um, some or you can create your own models in which Chris have you ever created your own models? Yeah, pretty much. Um, so since like um, my full-time job is a 3d animator So I pretty much already know how to use the 3d software. So that's kind of how I got um, into, into it um, So for software wise, I do use um, Like my Autodesk Maya or there's also Tinkercad 
Tinkercad is a free um, free website from Autodesk as well, so you can um, create a bunch of other models as well. Um, but yeah, like I use Autodesk Maya because that's the one I'm most familiar with. And then to set up your prints, um, I use uh, Cura, Ultimaker Cura. Um, I think this is like the most standard slicer that's out there. Um, you just grab your model, throw it in the, the software, and then it will get get it ready for it to print. Yeah. So how do you put input this into the printers? Oh, so normally um, each pr each printer each printer um, right here has like a little uh, micro SD card. So basically, um, yeah, like when you put it into that slicer program, it will put it into G code, which is like basically the code the printer reads to do its thing. And then, yeah, you just put it in there. And then I can show you on this one actually. So pretty much same thing. You can like you, you can insert the the chip. the chip right here. And then from here, um, you can access it. So you can like there's a bunch of different tools you can go to. This one's really nice. So I can just go to print, um, select whatever file it is. So th these ones are all pre-made that I've already done. So let's say I want to print um, this piece right here. You just click it. And now the printer is going to warm up, do its thing. That yeah, that usually takes a minute or so, or two minutes, and then it'll start printing. So you'll see eventually. Yeah. Hey, so yeah, so some like examples of kind of stuff I've I've made and I've, I sell in my Etsy store. Um, so this is like a Minecraft duck. Um, for those who play Minecraft, you guys know what it is. Um, the wings can move. So yeah, this is a pretty easy one to make because it's just blocks, and you can just kind of copy the the models that is online for Minecraft. Um, and I also have like these little coasters I make. Um, you can put your own custom little uh, logo on there. Um, that's really nice. And then I also have these like Spotify keys. Um, these are really cool because you can put your own custom little song on there. Um, people actually buy a lot of those for like birthday gifts or whatever. Um, I have little name tags. This is the one I made for myself with two colors. Um, you know, just, I don't know, customize your keychain. Um, yeah, these like grocery cart keys. Um, everyone loves these, so you don't have to carry a loony around. Um, I had made a little Black Lives Matter decal. Um, just made it for myself and for a few friends. Um, just you know. And then this is just I mean it's for fun. It's just a jumbo size <laughs> Spotify key. Um, I don't even know what song this is, but yeah, I guess you can scan it to see. But yeah. So I guess that is it for our three D printing farm tour if you have any other questions comment down below if you guys want to see our filaments and what filaments that we use click the amazon link down below also i can link down the some of the ender pros that we use so you guys can use that as reference if you ever decide to buy a 3d print on your own otherwise i think that's it for this tour right yeah, chris that's pretty much it yeah and if you want to see more 3d print videos give the, this video a thumbs up otherwise i'll see you guys next time bye I need a break on the brakes. I'm on a wave, like Lake Michigan. Go, she the one.